The night before Christmas, uh, I was able to get my students to be very hyper. Uh, anyways, the Cle by Clemente Seymour. Okay, be good though. Ooh, look at that picture. Can you see back there? Wow. And the night before Christmas. Oh, what happens the night before Christmas? It was the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. Oh, do you know a mouse got into my wife's desk? He chewed part of her desk drawer and he got in and he made a little nest out of her tissues. Okay. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would be there. Do anybody know what St. Nicholas is? Yes. Yes, <laughs> another name for Santa Claus is St. Nicholas. Yes. Ooh, maybe you'll see yourself in this picture. Wow, look at that picture. What do you think? Where, where are those kids? What are they doing? Uh, where, where are those kids doing? Yeah. And it says, the children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Ma and her kerchief and I and my cap had just settled our brains for a long winter nap. You folks take a nap in the afternoon? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Parents too. <laughs> My niece, not that I should get into trouble here, but just had a surrogate baby in California. The choice was pay for the baby or pay for a new house. I don't know, uh, that's California for you. But anyways, this is another great picture. Look at that one, what do you think? We got cake seekers. Wow, where are those gold cakes? And look at this guy from stocking on his cap. When out of the blue, there arose such a clatter. I sprang from the bed to see what was the matter. And the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the... Yes, the sash. Recently, I had 40 shutters. That's what this shacks. This, oh, it doesn't show it, but the, they're talking about the shutters. They're opening up. Oh, not in that picture. He's looking out the window with the snow. What do you think of that? Do we have any snow? Yes. And what do you think of the snow? Are we going to get any snow? We got a little bit. If you go further north to good old Lasselsville, we have lots of snow. And the North Pole also, lots of snow. The moon on the breast of the new falling snow gave the luster of midday to objects below, when what to my wonder I should appear but a miniature sleigh with eight tiny, yeah, reindeer. Very good, very good. Wow, yeah, tiny reindeer. Ooh, look at this guy. What does that guy look like? Oh, yeah. And what's he wearing? Yeah, goggles. Are you young children skiing yet? You always want to wear goggles. And do wear a helmet nowadays. Yeah. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be. Who's that driver called? Yes, yeah, Santa. More rapid than eagles. His coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. But the nuns at St. Mary said that I went with them anyways, but uh, uh, they did follow directions. And how come I wasn't like my old brothers? But anyways, uh, that side comment that I don't know, can I get away with that? Look at this, he's got all those gears. I don't know if you watch the latest movies about Santa, but they modernized his sled. So he can go faster around the world. 
or my sled. They modernized my sled. There we go. Did you just catch all that? This is a neat book. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they met with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the courses they flew with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. What's your favorite toy that you want? She said a kitty cat. Oh, good for you. It's good to know what you want. Yes, you know what you want. Oh, okay. And you too, you know what you want. Pokemon toys. Does mom buy you Pokemon cards? Everybody loves a card. And you know what you want, too. Oh, good. And you? Okay. And you, young lady, what would you want for Christmas? This is really the first time she's ever been around. Oh, with people? Yeah. Oh. She's, you know, with everything going on since she's been born, I moved yeah. out here. She's just been with this okay. man. Now she, yeah, now yeah. she gets around, the, around a lot of kids. She's like, oh my God. So, <laughs> socialization is number one. Well, you know, yeah. it was hard for them to socialize. You know, That's she's right. not school age yet. So this right here is like her best right now. She's just like that. I hope so. Hey guys, focus. Yeah, focus. You just finishing up? I, I'm sorry, oh, I. <laughs> Does anybody know what that is? Yes, a reindeer. What do you think of the pictures of that reindeer? Wow. And you two in the back, can you see? The reindeer. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. Hoof? Hoof. I say H O O F. Hoof. Hoof. And I drew in my head and was turning around down the chimney. St. Nicholas came with a bound. You know, I couldn't read very well, and I went to special reading in 10th grade. 10th grade, can you believe that? Oh, whoo, look who's here now. Wow. Now I read about 100 books a, week, a year. Many, many. Can't stop, you gotta keep learning. And anyway, he was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ash and soot. Why were his, I got chocolate stains on my foot. But uh, why was he covered with ash and soot? Do you know why? Santa Claus, what does he do? He goes down the what? Come down. Chimney, right. And they wood fires, and then that's why people need to clean those with a brush. Because mm -hmm. sometimes you'll hear the fire whistle go off. A bundle of toys he has flung on his back, and he looks like a peddler just opening his pack. Yeah, just like this. He's got his own pack. Woo! Oh, and look at Dad. He's looking through the door. With who's in the next to, the, to him at the door? Yeah, dog. How many people here have doggies? You have doggies at home? Oh yeah. What's the name of your doggy? What's that again? Ruby. Oh, Ruby. Wow. We have Timba at home. He's a Chihuahua with 14 inch legs. We got him at eight months. We always got older dogs or something. Oh, look at that face. What color are his cheeks? Yeah, they're red. He's got red cheeks. I'll tell you, this morning it was nine degrees, and it was easy to get red cheeks. All right. Am I going fast enough? You're doing perfect, Santa. Great job. Yes, he is. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimple, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll, droll little mouth, D-R-O-O-D. 
P-R-O-L-L, your mm -hmm. old little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard of his chin was white as the snow. So yesterday, we, uh, Santa Claus went to church, and we had a katata. They were singing all Christmas songs, but we also had to bring something to eat. And I made a soup in a crock pot with leftover turkey bones. And I added a pound of shrimp. So we had turkey shrimp soup. Okay. Don't, uh, I, I, I can feel that moment. Who, who's, it, who's next to Santa now? Who's that? Yeah, a dog. Wow, a dog. Next to Santa. Where is that? With a dinosaur. Can you see? Santa with a dog. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. <laughs> But you know, smoking's not healthy. To this day, you can get something called COPD, where uh, uh, your lungs get cluttered, and all those camel no filters I smoked for 10 years, 20 years, and as a kid we smoked, okay, we don't talk about that. But who's this guy? There he is again! Oh my gosh! And He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him, in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. Now my doctor put me on a new medicine, and it's supposed to help you lose nine pounds a year. And guess what happened? I told him when he put me on the scale that I was oh, 287 last time. He said, well, guess what? You're 287 and a half now. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, look at that. He's all draped out in a what? You see that cape he has on? Wow, a cape. A big red cape. Wow, it's like a blanket. You know, when you're on that sled and it's 10 below zero, with the wind blowing and the reindeer in front of you. And sometimes they like to let out a... And you've got to be covered up with something. So anyways, he spoke not a word, but went straight to his work, filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk, and laying his fingers aside of his nose, and giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. Wow. Oh my gosh, look what he has for a sled now. My gosh, this author, he really knew how to really throw in something modern for this book. Wow. Oh, there you are in the back. Can you see? Uh, with a dinosaur shirt? Oh, okay, we'll try. <laughs> wow, look at that gizmo. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team, gave a whistle, and away they flew like down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight. Wow, this is a really exciting book. And he said out loud, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night, yes.